Hello, this is Online Offline. Welcome back to another Casuals Quick Guide to Call of Duty Mobile. For today's video, we'll be covering the OTS 9. Introduced in Season 4 of 2023, the OTS 9, or OTS Event, is a high mobility, low capacity SMG from Black Ops Cold War. And much like the Makarov, it's of Russian origin and first appeared in the Call of Duty franchise with the Black Ops 1, in which it used its real name. When the AK-47 replaced classic Soviet SMGs like Shpagin's Papa Shah after World War II, there was still a demand for a defensive lightweight automatic that had more firepower than the semi-automatic Makarov. The Stetchkin automatic pistol attempted to fill this niche, but was not reliable enough. So, by request of the Soviet Army, Tula developed the Otsa Noldova Kipris in the early 70s and possibly took some visual cues from the Czechoslovak Scorpion. However, a couple years later, the AK-74 in 545 was adopted, and the subsequent AKS filled the SMG role instead. It wasn't until after the collapse of the Soviet Union did the Kipras see adoption by Russian security and law enforcement. However, it remains to be outshined by newer pistolet polymiates, such as the 2000, Bison, and Vidyas. Base damage per shot is moderate, killing in 4 shots up close, and then dropping to a 5, 6, 7 shot kill from afar. The fire rate is fast at 857 rounds per minute, and is tied with the MX-9 and Type 25. Like the newer weapons, it's not hit scan, and has a bullet speed of 550 meters per second. Combined with its base effective range of 23 meters, the OTS should be confined to aggressive close ranges. Because of its body multipliers, you technically never deal base damage. The head and chest deal 20% extra, the arms deal 10% extra, and the rest deal 10% less. Up close, it's not too demanding to achieve a 4-shot kill, and you can't extend it into its second range if you're precise. Otherwise, it can be punishing if you don't hit the chest area at longer ranges. The OTS does have a couple of barrels that boost its bullet speed. The reinforced barrel increases that and its range, but comes at the cost of mobility. Task Force also boosts both, but to a lesser extent and harms your recoil instead. And lastly, Extended Barrel increases your bullet speed to the same degree as Reinforced and has no drawbacks. In terms of mobility, the base movement speeds are below average, but are made up for by its attachments. When kitted for sprinting, it's second place and ever so slightly below melee speed. When kitted for ADS movement speed, it's tied with the Bison in sixth place. The ADS speed is faster than average first class, and its print out time is tied with the QQ9 for the fastest in the game. Base magazine size is minimal at 20 rounds, and can be extended to 25, 30, 32, and 40 with varying reload animations. Said animations from Cold War are rather stiff, but for what it's worth, it does make reload cancelling obvious. As for accuracy, the OTS has poor bloom, and is now the second worst in the game, only ahead of the MAC-10. Luckily, its hipfire spread is average for an SMG and can be boosted by the Treyarch gunsmith lasers. The iron sights are good, and unlike its Black Ops 1 or Cold War counterpart, Mobile's take on the Kipperus has easy recoil, even with Task Force Barrel. So what do I think of the OTS-9? Up close, it's solid. It takes the concept of a fast-firing aggressive SMG and min-maxes it. It has nimble mobility due to its Treyarch-style gunsmith but its range is limited by its bullet speed and poor bloom. Could you max out the sprint speed along with a hip iron laser and lightweight and gung-ho? Yes. Is it the most practical? No. But there's plenty of creativity when it comes to builds. Compared to its peers, it's most similar to the Switchblade. Both have similar range values, body multipliers, and low ammo capacity. As for changes I'd like, I would have preferred if it was hit skin, but I doubt that's happening. Instead, I would like the devs to remove its final range value and extend its third range infinitely. It wouldn't be overpowered because when adjusted for bullet speed, you would have average time to kill, or slightly faster with its barrel attachments. And it would still be at a disadvantage against ARs and LMGs, which are generally more accurate, have more ammo, or usually hit scan, or have faster bullet speeds, and have more consistent body multipliers. But hey, that's just my opinion. This has been a casual's quick guide, feel free to suggest what weapons you want to see covered next. My name is On, and I'm off.